Find an area large enough and level enough so that you can lay out your panel configuration as needed for ganging the panels. Always look at the technical drawings provided by MABA for the configuration of the panel gangs for the current core sequence. The drawings will show panel size and position to achieve the needed height of the wall as well as the needed accessories and placement of those accessories for proper ganging and lifting. Be sure that the weight of the gang being assembled does not exceed the weight capacity of the crane hooks being used. The capacity for each Mavelite crane hook is 1,300 pounds, and a minimum of two crane hooks must be used to crane a gang of panels. Arrange panels face down on timbers as needed for the gang being assembled. For assembly, the panels can easily be connected with an EA assembly lock. Simply place the lock's hooks around the profile of two panels. Then take the connecting wedge and hammer it through the lock with the hammer. Be sure that the hooks are in the panel profile and that the lock is firmly secured. The standard lock requirement is one lock for a one and a half foot panel, two locks for a one and a half foot through a four foot panel size, three locks for a six foot panel, and four locks for a nine foot panel. Additional locks are required for columns and for outside corner applications. In this situation, refer to the respective technical drawing section for details. Panels with aluminum or wood fillers can be connected with a Uni Assembly Lock 22. The maximum distance of the Uni Assembly Lock 22 is 6.5 inches. For connecting rails, the maximum average rail spacing is 6 feet. Rails should be installed on each end of the panel gang. Be sure that the flange screw is connected to the multi-function profile. Tighten it all the way down so that the rail is firmly connected. Gangs up to 13 feet high may use three foot long rails on vertical panels with one flange screw on each side of the panel joint. This flange screw connection is then made through the threaded holes in the vertical end of the cross member of the panel. Gangs with horizontal panels require rails that extend to the next cross member beyond the flame screw connection of the vertical panel. Gangs over 13 feet high require six foot rails or longer. Flame screw connections must be made at least 10 and a half inches away from the panel joints and rails must extend to the next cross member beyond the flange screw connection. Horizontal panels less than three feet wide may only be located at the top or at the bottom of the gang. Maximum gang height for a single lift is 18 feet. Higher walls must be set in multiple lifts unless special analysis and design are performed. If the rails required for lifting interfere with those for concrete placement, then you need to reconfigure the rail placement prior to the concrete pour or prior to the lift. To attach walkway brackets, take the self-locking pin of the bracket and insert it into the multi-function profile of the panel. Do this by rotating the bracket 45 degrees and inserting the pin into the panel. Then rotate the bracket back to the vertical position. At this point, you can then attach the bottom of the bracket with the flange screw 18. Make sure that the flange screw 18 is firmly connected. Any planking or guard railing that's attached at this point must be firmly secured so that it does not fall off during transport. Wall braces are attached to the panels at the multi-function profile of the panel with a form prop connector and a flange screw 18. Be sure that the G hooks of the braces are also secured so that the brace does not expand during lifting. For proper brace placement and positioning, be sure to refer to your technical drawings. Once your first gang is properly assembled with assembly locks, steel rails, and the walkway brackets, you are ready to lift the gang into position. Each crane hook must be attached at a panel joint or at a cross member if the top panel is in a horizontal position. The number and location of the crane hooks and the rigging 
must be established by the user so that no individual component is overloaded. The minimum angle of the rigging from the hook to the crane is 60 degrees. Visual inspection should always be made of the gang form prior to transportation and flying it with the crane. This is to ensure that no unfastened hardware is left loose on the form that could fall off during transportation. Lift the gang into the upright position and apply a thin layer of form release. The Alcus will not absorb any form release, so only a thin application is needed. Do not allow any personnel on or directly under any form arc while it is being moved or suspended. Set the gang into position and immediately anchor the bracing, foot plates, and install and anchor the shoe plates. Do not release the crane support until the gang is secured.